Finance Minister Bill Morneau delivered his government's first budget last week. Despite a promise of only a $10 billion deficit, the Liberals are adding $29.4 billion to Canada's debt. During his speech, a baby in the gallery started to cry, shouting what sounded like, no, no, no. It's an essential step in a sustained, strategic effort to restore prosperity and optimism. The fate of the middle class and the fate of the country as a whole. You see, somehow that baby knew that it was his generation that was going to have to pay for all the stuff in the budget. Here's my interview with the guy responsible for our future problems, Minister of Finance, Bill Morneau. Here he is now, the Finance Minister of Canada, uh, Mr. Bill Morneau, thank you for joining us. Thank you, and I, I appreciate you uh, reading our handiwork. This is a wonderful book. I, I like the picture here. Is that the sun setting on the sunny ways? Because now you have to pay for everything. No. Honeymoon's over! I think Honeymoon's over! The bill's here! Is I, that what's happening? I think it's the dawn of a new day. Is she saying, uh, is she saying, Mommy, why will I have to pay for all this stuff in a few, she, when I grow she, up? She, she's saying, you know, thank goodness I voted for those liberals because they're going to change my life. Yes, That's the deal. I'm, I've never been good at math. You're, a, I assume, an expert of some well, kind? you know what? I, I use an abacus at my desk, just in case Old school. Got to you know, respect that. Go. Yeah. Uh, now, it's a $29.4 billion deficit, and... Uh, Those words aren't coming out of my mouth, just so that we're clear. Okay, well, I think they're in here somewhere, but $29.4 billion... I'm horrible at math. I could do that! I kind of thought, looking at this, going like, well, go that much in the hole. I can do that! Let's look at some of the things in here. There's $2 billion low-carbon economy fund, uh, two billion colleges and universities. What a hippie left wing, but is it gonna be two billion for hacky sacks and hemp pants next? We're focused on the things that matter. You sunny so, liberals. There you go, there you go. Here's something, uh, you are giving, how much, was it 675 million to the CBC? Uh, is that a problem for you? Respect. <laughs> um, so how does that work? Do I, I could just, do I, do well, I no, just it's, take it's, that with me now? Yeah, no, I can, we I got, can... a, we got a, a box of cash over there in the next room. How do you think so. we should spend at the CBC? You know, we, we might need to get better com comedians on uh, this hour is 22 minutes. <laughs> you know, Lana Ambrose has some good ideas. And let me tell you about what I like about the conservative plan. Jo Oliver, there's a man there's I like. The guy. There's the guy. What if Canadian families budgeted the way governments did? How do, how do you think we do? Because I just picture, like, say you have a uh, husband and a wife, maybe they, they, they work together, same job, he makes $60,000 a year, she makes $50,000 a year, because, you know, even though it's 2016, that's still not fair. So together, their household income is? 110. He is good, isn't he? There you go. And and probably they're idiots, they have an $800,000 home, they can't really okay. afford. And problem. then they get three cars, maybe 60 grand each, okay? okay. And then because uh, she's French-Canadian, so she wants to separate. So now she's going and she realizes, like, oh, my Uncle Bombardier wants to borrow a million bucks. A and billion. It's all adding up and adding up. How soon can this family go before they go broke and are forced to have to turn to the underground economy and sell weed uh, to make ends meet? You know? It's an interesting analogy, isn't it? Ronna Ambrose is constantly going on about how she left you a, uh, a surplus. How much was the surplus? It's, unfortunately, it's a deficit. But how much did they say they left you? How many, you know, what they say it's in reality, they're actually two different things. Billion, I think, was it? it this is Joe Oliver's old office. I the can't 2.9 billion, might th it, but yeah. sometimes it slides look, down I'll in the cloud. I've looked everywhere. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's it just be, not I here. Ronna asked just, me to look. It's just not here. Sorry, Ronna, I tried. tried. Yeah. It's, it's not here. Yeah. We've looked everywhere. There's a few budgets hanging around here, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Have you looked around? Uh, we, I... uh, we use them for everything. Wow, so is this where you come and do your thinking? You know, if I want to know how not to do a budget, then this is a place to come. Is it your safe place? Yeah, you know, I come here. If I got a bad idea, I come here. I think about it for a while and it goes away. Well, Minister, thank you very much for letting us uh, into your office yeah, and explaining uh, the budget to all of us. People can go online and uh, they can download it themselves if they have trouble sleeping. The CST is legislated to grow at 3% per year, increasing from 13 billion in 2015. Uh -huh.